My name is Samir Karam. My job is sign maker. I came to United States exactly in September 2, 1999. And from that time, I'm still living in United States, exactly in California. I came to United States from Syria to find my dream. I started making sign when I was very, very young. I remember, I think, in, when I was in middle school, very young. I start making sign because I love this job. It's my dream job. So I start doing this job when I was young, then I continue. Plus I continue my studying as engineer, but still working with the studying sign maker. So I think around 45 years. When I came to United States, I get a little harder to get a job, especially the language. In the beginning, when I came to United States, I don't speak English. It's not easy to person. He want to start to to work without language. So I focused number one to get the English language. Then this first step. Then after when I get a little bit language, I start working because I do have experience. Plus my language coming over, so it helped me to be good. How I start my business at La Sign. First of all, looks like anyone come to America have experience for the sign. He have to work with someone. I went to too many company. I work like three, four companies as employee. Then I feel I have to be own business. Why I stay as employee if I have experience very, very well. Then I open Atlas sign. In the beginning, everything hard to get a customer by yourself. But anybody wait until get famous a little bit, work good, more job, little by little the chain is get bigger and bigger. Then Atlas sign get bigger like now. Atlas sign right now is around seven years. From 2012, we start Atlas sign. From that time to this time, I feel my company is get more bigger and bigger. Special with my kids grow up and help me for my business. My name is Andre Karam. I'm 22 years old. Um, technically, I'm a full-time student at Cal State LA, um, but I use all of my free time to help my dad in his business, which is sign fabrication. I came here when I was three years old. So I was born in Syria, but I grew up here. Uh, my father taught me everything. Um, I started working in the shop when I was like 12. I remember he used to give me a quarter for every time I peeled the paper backs off of acrylic sheets and there would be a lot of acrylic sheets. At the end of the day, I'd be so happy to make like $12 when I was 12. Um, and then eventually, as I got older, he's like, okay, come cut this letter, come remove this vinyl, come bend this metal, come work on this LED. And eventually, I, I worked my way up to making, you know, full signs. So he taught me everything. You know, he used to tell me for weeks, all he would eat is spam, bread, and carrots. I mean, uh, cucumbers, that's all he would eat for like months because he was so hard trying to save money for his family to come, me, my daughter, I mean, my sister, my mother. Um, and then once we all came, he settled down, he started saving up, we got our first car. And I mean, we're about middle class now, so you can, you can definitely see how somebody can come uh, uh, having nothing and just work their way up with hard work. And I think that's I think that's the true American dream. To, if you have a, a goal and you work hard at it, you'll achieve it. My dad is an amazing sign maker. He got his engineering degree in Syria, and even though you don't really need an engineering degree to be a sign maker, he applies it to sign making, and you can definitely see the difference. But other than like engineering side, mechanical side, he's also very good at art, and I think that helped him a lot. Um, I remember one time. We were doing a sign and we didn't have a, uh, the router, which is the machine that makes a circle. He by hand cut the circle. And I was so skeptical that I measured it and it was perfect. On, on site, cut by hand. You can definitely see the 35 years of experience that he has. I think the two main things that the, his, my father's business did for me was one, it really showed me how you have to take control of your own life. You know. Yeah, you can be an employee at a, at a firm or whatever and make, make a salary, or you can do what you believe will work, make your own money, take your own time off. So it was really cool because 
I mean, I, I remember like even now through college, people say, oh, I can't make it to class, I have work. But for me, it's, I can make it to class, I'll take off my own work and I'll reschedule it because it's my job. So I thought it was cool. Then the second thing is, um, you know, if you work, the, the harder you work, the more you'll make. Again, like in a regular job, salary, work as hard as you want. Maybe you'll get a promotion, maybe not. But here, if you work hard, every single more dollar that you make is your dollar, not like the company's dollar. I believe the American dream. In United States, is more chance to succeed than Syria. In United States, you can find anything you want. You can find all tools you want to work. You can find all materials you want to use for your project. In Syria, sometimes you don't find what you want to do to make a sign. I like to say the sign is art. Looks like any art. Sometimes I feel the rules with the city hall plus the landlord, they catch what we can do as image in our mind. That means, let's say, give you a sample. Do this sign red color. Do this sign this much of height. Do this sign this frontage of square foot. So they give you a cage. You cannot go outside to put you at your image. That way, a lot of people tell me, Samir, go to Las Vegas to work. Over there, you can do any size of sign, any color of sign, any image in your mind. But what I say, I love California. I don't want to move.